it's Sam I am. How is everybody? I myself, I'm fantabulistic. Super excited to be here with you to do another project. Yep, yep, yep. Today is Saturday. Oh, I don't know if it's, I think it's the 30th. I don't know. It's the last day of September. Tomorrow is the first day of October. Isn't that cool how that works out? Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do today, you wonder? Hmm. Well, I've had this mold and I haven't done anything. And I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do one. I know they have been. I didn't research it or anything. It's a spoon holder. How cool is that? Yeah. And then since it's in the kitchen, I thought it'd be cool to do a napkin holder. Yay! Two things that we're going to do for the kitchen. And what I'm going to put right here. Oh, it's so cute. Ready? Bam! It's a Z-Dirl, and it's a body tattoo. So we can do this on silicone. What I'll do is I will put it down on here, wet it, and then pull off the backing, and the image will stay on there. Now, when I do that, I either have to put down a clear coat before I put down the tattoo, or once I take the put the tattoo on, do my piece, take it out of the mold, the sticky side is still going to be there from the body tattoo. So I'll need to do another coat, which is how I'm going to do it. Instead of pouring a coat and then waiting, I'm going to do it the other way. I don't know. It just seems like a better plan for me. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Now, I have picked out colors for us to match our little turtle. It's beautiful. Um, I have chosen Iceberg Blue. Oh, I'm not even holding it where you can see it over here in the stars. Iceberg Blue. Um, Carolina Blue. Carolina Girl. Then this is Galactic Ghost Blue. So, you know, just a shimmer of blue throughout. And then just to spice things up, I put a, I'm going to put a gel tint denim from Color Passion in there. I gotta sip my drink, y'all. Hold on. My mouth is dry as the Sahara Desert. Woo! Sorry. Okay. Did you know Sahara in some language means desert? So really you're saying desert desert instead of Sahara Desert? I don't know. Just a little fun fact there. So let's go ahead and get our colors mixed. I have mixed up 12 ounces of resin epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store really good resin i like it so now what i like to do we're going to do these one at a time i don't know what i'm doing here i like to put in my mica put in my mica first then i add a little bit of um resin to that and mix it up to make like a paste trying to be less is more if I can scoop it and try oh my goodness what's the deal how did I get nothing well let me do a little bit more there we go so this will help when you put in a little bit of mic a uh, little bit of resin with your mica and then you mix this up it's a better shot that you're not going to have any mica loose any floating mica I should say Owie. Y'all, I have torn my fingers slam up my cuticles. I apparently don't know how to cut nails anymore. I liked it when I went and had my manicure done the last time. I forgot how nice that is. But I, if y'all saw the video, I showed it three days after I had my uh, manicure. And the fingernail polish was already chipped off. Heck, the job I do painting that didn't even chip off three days in three days. And I suck at fingernail you know, polish painting. I really do. I cannot paint my own nails. Look at that blue. Isn't that pretty? And that was Carolina Blue. Okay, put that there. Now we are going to do Iceberg Blue. 
I have a lot of blues. It was really hard to choose. It really is. Every time I have to choose a blue, it's really hard because some of them are only a shade off from each other, and they're all beautiful. And you just got to find that right one. Way a bit more. Okay. We're in a little bit resin in here. They're similar, aren't they? Front row. Hmm. Well, I will make one of them darker. Hmm. No, 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 no. Knock it everything down. I thought I had a navy. Uh, a zoo. Um, I'm, I'm here, y'all. I'm just looking for the perfect blue. I'm going to put in an alcohol ink, I think. I thought for sure I had a navy. Does navy come in the pack, y'all? Mm, I don't think so, because I can't find it. I don't see one. This is one. No, there's yellow. This is one. Oh, those are all pigment dyes. So, we are going to go with, um, purple, what is this? Midnight Blue! That's close to navy, huh? Yeah. That's what we'll do. I'll put some Midnight Blue and I think this one's supposed to be the darker one. No. That oh, one is. 34 is supposed to be the darker one, so we'll add that to it. Alright. I'm going to continue mixing this mica up. We don't want loose mica in our project. Right now, galactic blue. Need a spoon. I did. I meant to order different spoons this time, like the ones I originally got. Look at this. Look how flat they are. There's no divot dip in there at all. We're kind of a flat spoon. <laughs> so it's day four of my COVID trip. I really hope I'm not positive for very long. I don't even know the guidelines. I researched it. And I, it was very confusing. <laughs> the way they have it written out. I mean, basically, I think you should just stay away from everybody for seven days. After you've tested positive, I guess. And if you test negative, then you should be good, right? Right. That's how I feel about it. All right, then this one's going to be denim, but I'm going to split this up real quick now that I have all my micas done. And then I could put in the midnight. So this one's the dark one. I want to make darker. All right, there we go. You know, I've mixed up 12 ounces. I thought that would be enough, but I'm beginning to think it's not. But that's okay. There's more where that came from, right? Yeah, definitely didn't make a lot. But we'll just pour the uh, spoon rest first and then I can do the napkin order. The trouble will be getting the colors to match. But... Actually, that's the fun of it. Mixing your colors, trying to find the right one. That's what's enjoyable. It should be enjoyable anyway. This whole process should be enjoyable. And if it's not, then it's not the hobby for you. Sorry, don't mean to be blunt, but 
You gotta like it. All right, so let me finish mixing these in. So has anybody seen Christmas decorations out yet? I don't do a whole heck of a lot of shopping when I'm out and about, so I haven't yet. My son used to get so mad because he was like, they skip right over Thanksgiving from Halloween into Christmas. I said, yeah, because they can't commercialize Thanksgiving but so much. Right? Man, that's a pretty color. Which one should I... I mean, they're both pretty. This one's the one I'm going to make dark. I'm going to put in a couple of drops of the Midnight Blue from Let's Resin. Shake it up real good. Let's do a squirt. Oh, that was a very big squirt. Oops. Most of it went on the spoon. I mean, stick, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, we need more. We need darker. Yeah, I need to put a hit of black in there. That was two and a quarter. Man, they won't darken up. I mean, they're still like identical to each other, just about. is going on. That's got to darken it some. Is it all sinking to the bottom or something? <laughs> Alright, let's paper towel this. It's got to be something different now. Here, let's see. No, I'll use this one. The best way to tell your colors by wiping it on a paper towel. Look at that. They're like identical. <laughs> All right. Hmm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let me see, y'all. What can I do? What can I do? Hmm. Let's see. Uh huh. Let me see something. Look at this bad boy, navy from Color Passion. That shouldn't do something. I hope. Yeah, really, I've never really had this hard of trouble. And I can't put this so much in there because I'm going to go over the ratio of 10% resin to product. There we go. I'm noticing something now, my friends. Color passion was the ticket. Now look at it. I need to have gloves on, don't I? I wonder why my nails stay gross looking. All right, now look at it. Way better. 
yeah, that's what we're going with. Move this out of the way. I'm going to wipe my hands off and put on some uh, gloves. It's a little late, maybe, but... Let me clean this up, y'all, real quick before we make a bigger mess. Oh, speaking of this mat, sorry, we weren't really speaking of it. I'm wiping it. I got a new mat from Amazon. It's Let's Resin. But, you know, it comes to you folded. How do we get the folds out? Do I... Can I throw it in the dryer and fluff it like I do a shirt? I'm just kidding. I know the answer to that. It was worth a shot asking. All right, let's mix this Galactic Ghost Blue up. So, you know what I'm going to do? Since I'm putting the coat on last, I'm going to wait to put this. Oh, I can't do that. I got to put it down now. Yeah, I got to do that now. Let me, um, oh, my hands are a mess. Now, I'm almost out of alcohol. I've ordered it from Amazon. I don't know how I got so low. I thought I had more. Which I have, um, I have the other kind. It's, uh, ethanol. What's it called? Uh, ethyl. This one. Ethyl alcohol, which apparently the only difference is you can drink mine. <laughs> I'm going to uh, squirt a bit. Take a sip. Squirt a bit. I just can't feel. All right, y'all be worried about me. Let's go. So first things first. I need to put down my picture. Oh, I didn't put on gloves. <laughs> I'm so silly sometimes. I think it's been raining here for days. Misty and not very pretty out. I'm trying to figure out something to talk about while I put my gloves on. Check out my contest down in the details. Got a few of them going on as well as a birthday club. I'll go over everything at the end of the video, but since we're standing here talking, I figured I'd drop it on you another time. Say something about it twice. That's okay. All right, so I have a bottle of water. I have a paper towel. You know, I don't know if this paper towel has resin on it. Let me get a fresh clean one. Pour some water on it. Get it nice and wet. I'm trying to get it wet here. Okay. Now, make sure your hands are dry. You gotta take this plastic piece off. Okay. Now, I wanna get it in there right. So that's gonna be the top. doing this in there with those pieces folding over. I think I need to go this way some. Forgive me if y'all can't see it right this second. I can't either. Mm. Come on baby. Turn just a little bit. I'll come down just a little bit now. Give it up. You can do it. I don't know. He needs to go sideways a little more. Mm. We'll get it. We're going to get it. Here. What do you think? I think he needs to go this way a little bit more.
Mm. How about y'all? I'm gonna put you on hold. I'll be right back while I try and situate this. Hey right, guys, that's what I got. What do you think? You look okay? He's kind of going that way. But I had to keep it in the circle. I think it looks good right there. We're gonna wet it. I just want to wet this really good. Soak it. Need a little more water. Don't be skimpy on the water. But after you do this, you gotta make sure you dry it really good because you know resin and water don't mix very well. So I've been looking at getting a cricket. Just a Cricut Joy, not some fancy schmancy big one. I just need the little one. I researched it, and that's all I need. So I can, you know, cut some words out here and there. Get some practice with it. I don't know if y'all saw my video the other day. I didn't do very good with um, the Cricut letters that my friend cut out for me. So that was a... A beginner mistake. Alright guys, here we go. Mm -mm. Oh no. His head didn't come out. What in the world? Where does that go? His head folded under. <gasps> no, no, my little turtle. And he's the only one I got, too. That's stinky, the winky. I don't think I can get that out. No. It folded up into Never Never Land. And there, I just ripped it. <sighs> All right. I'm going to put you on hold so I can clean this up. I'll be back. Alright guys, we're going to try this again. I really got to hurry up because my resin is going to be hot. This is the sticker I'm doing this time. Beautiful little conch shell, I think. I'm not quite sure. It's a beautiful shell, whatever it is. So we are going to go with the point down. So it just goes right in the middle. Take the plastic backing off. This is going to be straight in between the uh, circle without having any humps. So maybe that was the difference for us. I'm hoping. Let's hope. See how that's not lined up? It's really hard to do this with my gloves on. Sweating. Let's fix that real quick. There we go. that's it guys that's what we're going with yup 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 I'm gonna get ready to go with nothing I'm gonna lose my resin I'd be sad I'm still here. Mm, quiet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We're getting ready to go without a sticker or body tattoo. It worked! <gasps> Yay! Beautiful! Look, right in the middle. Okay, let that dry. So, we got that part. That's right. We shall soon find out. Alright, so I think there's... I'm just going to pour Right? Oh, we're going to make this. Denim. A color passion. It's a gel tint. I just wanted to add something different in there. Try and use these tints, gel tints, as much as I can to figure them out. So I can let people know what exactly they can do. Nice little container that squeezes. I don't know why I stand up all the time. All right, here we go. Move that right there. Move that out of the way. Move this over here. Move my scissors out of the way. Let's get this pouring party started. Yeah. All right, here we go. I don't know what to do first. I'll do the light. Denim. Uh, I don't remember which one this one was. I really don't. This is going to be pretty. Just keep alternating them. All these colors are really pretty, aren't they? Oh, I'm sure there's no bubbles down in there. Okay, so we're coming back around. I thought I would have enough to do this and the napkin holder, but I don't think I will. All right, let me get down. Okay, that's full. bubble come out okay this is full all the way to the back so I'm gonna wipe this off right here very carefully okay now oh, I don't know why I wiped that that goes there now we can do this And I'm going to do it right down the middle so it'll go on each side. Hopefully we have enough to fill this sucker because um, it's going to be really hard to match those colors up again. I mean, it, it's possible. I'm 
just going to have to do a lot of thinking. Because I can tell you all right now, we're not going to have enough. If I can at least fill it up to past the hump, then I can figure out like rocks or something to put in the bottom. Or just pick one color and go with it. You know, something like that. So, I don't think I'm going to make it that far, but I'm going to hope. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got a sore on the end of my finger. Oh, look, I think I hit it. I'm bleeding. Somebody called. Call the ambulance. this one yeah not a lift so what should I put at the bottom y'all I'm a thinking not a drinking All right, my friends, that's all we got. And I'm two inches from the top. Yeah, look at those hands. Yeah, nice gloves. So, what we're going to have to do is come up with a plan. Mm. Those little boogers stinging. I would think that we could... Look, i got to spray it with alcohol, y'all. If you know me, I normally don't do this, but... See what it does? See those specks? That's why I don't use alcohol. Look, it leaves marks, guys. For me, it leaves marks. Might not for you guys, but it leaves marks for me. All right, guys. I am going to probably go ahead and mix up some more resin and throw that in real quick. You don't need to see me do that. So when these are cured, I'll be back. All right. After some major searching, I think I found what I like. I went ahead and removed the old um, image off of there. I used alcohol, 99% isopropyl alcohol, or these little alcohol wipes I got from all the sticks that I get weekly. So they send me a bunch of these, and I don't need them all. I bring them out here. All right, I'm going to show you once I get this on here how to use the deburring tool to get this rough edge off. Um, these are the stickers that came with this anchor. Did I show you it to you? The anchor. See, look. Don't you think that's beautiful? Then look, I had the ship's wheel and then the rope. And that, if there was two ropes, then I would do it along the bottom of this. I mean, I could do one side. What do y'all think? Should I do one side? Hmm. I don't know, guys. Now I'm stumped. Just center that right there. Eh, I'm not going to do it. Less is more. This was another one I got. These came from Dollar Tree. Yep, sure did. 
All right, so I got the image picked out. Now, at least this isn't a tattoo. It's an actual sticker. So we'll stick that down and then we will have to UV resin it. So the sticker stays stuck. I'm gonna just clean this up out of the way, y'all. I know one thing, I'm coming in and doing a major, instead of spring cleaning, fall cleaning. That's what I'm gonna be doing, for sure. Can't find nothing. And I got more room now to spread my stuff out. Oh my God, y'all, I'm so itchy. And it's been almost 24 hours since I took the medicine that made me have the hives. And it's the COVID medicine, Plaxavoid or something. I don't even, couldn't even guess. All I know is it itches. Okay, enough with that and my personal problems. Sorry, sorry. I just can't stop itching. Okay, here we go. I'm really glad it's a sticker and not a body tattoo. And these are some pretty good stickers, too. Nice and sticky. And I don't want to get off the paper. There we go. We gotta give it up. I shall win. Fabulous. Alright. Now I'm gonna stand up so I can make sure I get this even. Voila! What do you think? Yay! I love it! That's like perfect! That's like it was made for that. Now this I decided not to do it. Alright, let me move this out of the way. These are all the colors we used. So I'm going to put them over here so I can put them in the description. I got a lot to put in there. A lot of mixology. Alright, so what you do is you take your little deburring tool. And you just go along that that rough edge sharp edge i should say and it's better to do it now instead of when it gets oh man and try not to scratch your piece just, anyway the harder you do it i mean the longer you wait the harder it is to do it all right yeah, this is, I got on Amazon, a little deburring tool. I forget, a long time ago, I saw somebody talking about it. I was like, hmm, and how do we spell that? And all I had to do was sound it out and put it in. And I found it. I was like, well, isn't that nifty? So I ordered one. It came with extra blades. Until this moment, I remember seeing them the other day. I just don't recall where that was. Like, I'm over-organized. I just don't know where I put everything. And I can't say I'm over-organized because right now I don't feel organized at all. Well, not being in here for so long and taking care of stuff. And before, like I said before, I don't know if you heard me or not, but it was like somebody yelled fire and everybody left the garage because it was so basically hot as fire, really. Not literally. I can't say that for all the horrible that's gone on with fires this year. Okay, just let me wipe this up. We've got all those deburring pieces. Resin. And we don't want that in our project. But we're going to do some major UV resining. And we shall do it. Let me put on some gloves. You heard it right. I said it. Let me put on some gloves. Okay. Mm. I can't get them on. Okay. I hate it when it's almost there. Can't get them on. 
And you know it can't get on because I'm being rushed. Not that y'all are rushing me, but you're rushing me, right? You got things to do, Sam I am. Get on with it. All right. Let me have a seat. Here we go. I'll put it on time lapse. How about that? Alrighty, friends. I've got these pieces done, finished finally. This one was a little booger. It took a quick few layers, but I got it on there. Do you love it? Do you think I did a good job? Do you want to give me a thumbs up? Do you want to give me two thumbs up? Well, pretend you can and use that other thumb to subscribe and share and sign up for notifications. I know that's an awful lot to ask of one thumb. But hey, a girl's got to do what she's got to do. So, please, would you like, subscribe, and comment? That would be wonderful for me because the algorithm likes stuff like that. And the algorithm will push my video to be seen by others. So I can continue to bring great projects to you. Now, I think I'm going to jump ahead and do another recording in front of these in front of where I start this project but because I told you I had an unboxing and I needed to do some contest stuff but I, this video has gone too long and I have another one that I'm doing right now so it, bear with me I'm going to go into the next video because the length is a little better and we will go through the winner in the contest and the, un, the unboxing the unveiling and all that fun stuff that's what we're gonna do, okay? So for now, I'm gonna say, be good, or be good at it. Love you, mean it. See ya, bye.